a virtual studio for your podcast. The latest from podnews.net with Smart Money Happy Hour from Ramsey Network. Podcast marketing agency Podcast Discovery has launched the Virtual Studio, a full bespoke 3D modelled virtual studio and a camera and lighting kit for each contributor. Video is important to get right. Here's Josh Divney. The raw video quality matters massively. We saw that videos were twice as likely to go viral if they were filmed professionally rather than on a webcam. He's on the Pod News Weekly Review this week. John W. Gibbons is no longer the CEO of Libsyn, we understand. His departure was announced to the team on Tuesday. The company is also said to have sold Pair Networks, the website hosting company it owns, to a company based in Amsterdam. Libsyn hasn't made a statement or responded to Pod News for comment. Acast has just signed some of the biggest podcasts in Australia and the UK. Former Spotify show Tony and Ryan will move to Acast on Monday on the duo's third anniversary. The show will be available on YouTube in full for the first time. Meanwhile, in the UK, The Fellas Studios has moved the network of shows from Audio Boom over to Acast, including the Edison Top 10 show Saving Grace. Acast will work with all The Fellas Studios podcasts, not only on audio ads, but selected visual branded campaigns across social and video channels. Do post rolls, that's ads at the end of a podcast, deserve the hate they get from some parts of the industry? Nate Wells posts some data from a recent campaign suggesting that post rolls aren't intrusive to the audience, and because they're significantly cheaper, even though they perform only a little worse, they're much better value for advertisers. Veritonic has been selected by European programmatic platform Hawk for audio attribution. Real estate investment company Bigger Pockets has published its 1000th podcast episode and gained majority investment from the Churning Group. The company claims 154,000 daily podcast listeners. And Podbean has just launched a new blog to podcast feature, which will automatically take a blog post, convert it to audio, and automatically publish it as a podcast. And in podcast news, Basic Folk features honest conversations with folk musicians, the best in folk, bluegrass, acoustic, and Americana. It's hosted by Lizzie No and Cindy Howes, who joined Pod News as a personal supporter this week. In 2001, Robert Fisher killed his family, blew up their suburban home, and vanished into a remote Arizona forest. Missing in Arizona features an AI cloned voice of the killer telling his story. Did he die or did he escape? The podcast is new from iHeart Podcasts and Neon 33. Women have their fair share of conspiracy culture as architects, evangelizers and symbols. Kristen Conger launches Conspiracy She Wrote today, covering everything from QAnon to royal pregnancy truthers and Taylor Swift psyops. Even the most absurd fictions have plenty of truths to tell us about what we choose or refuse to believe and why. And Radio Atlantic this month has a new short podcast series, Scripts, in a moment when 25% of Americans are taking psychiatric drugs, Scripts explores the stories behind these drugs through expert interviews and compelling narratives, challenging conventional wisdom and revealing the bizarre, intriguing and sometimes unsettling realities of the drugs we depend on. It starts today. This podcast is sponsored by Smart Money Happy Hour. It's hosted by two friends. They happen to be money experts and they also happen to talk pop culture and personal finance over a new budget-friendly cocktail each week. It's Rachel Cruz and George Camel, and they star in the latest video podcast from Ramsey Network, Smart Money Happy Hour. There's a link in the show notes. And that's the latest from our newsletter. To read all the stories and subscribe, we're at podnews.net. 